Do you want to learn how you can sync your form with Google Sheets in both ways? Then keep watching. Google Sheets help you organize your form's data, and this two-way sync eliminates the need for manual data entry and ensures that all data is accurate and up-to-date in your form and in your sheet. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more useful content every day. So let's first build our form. Let's head over to our dashboard and use one of our ready-to-customize templates. Today, let's use this personality quiz. As you can see, this is a multi-step form. You can add new fields, remove fields, or move them with drag and drop. Okay, so now that we have our form, let's sync it with the Google Sheet. Head over to our dashboard and right-click your formula. Then select View Responses and go to the Integrations and Webhooks tab. Click on the Connect to Google Sheets button, sync your form with the sheet you want, and save changes. Make sure you have the sheet's name as shown in your Google Sheet. Then open the form and submit a new response to test the connection. Great! You should now see the response in your Google Sheet as well as the formulas responses table. Alright, now let's make this connection two-sided so that we can change something in Google Sheets the same row in formula responses also changes. Get back to the Integrations and Webhooks tab, click on the Connect to Google Sheets button and then enable the two-way formula Google Sheet Sync option on the pop-up window. Now let's save changes and go back to your Google Sheet to set up the two-way sync option. Let's open our sheet and on the menu under the extensions menu item, let's choose the app script option. Now we are going to delete everything from the opened editor and paste the following script instead. Now let's save the changes from the save icon on the menu above the editor. After saving the function, we can now go to the triggers part and add a new trigger. On the open pop-up, we are going to change the select event type field to on edit. Also, let's change the failure notification settings fields value to notify me immediately and save the trigger. After saving, as you can see, it asks us to give access to the trigger so it can implement the updates. Let's give the access so it can sync the data completely. And we're done! Once two-way sync is enabled, any changes made to the Google Sheet will be reflected in the form. Now let's test it out. Let's edit this row in Google Sheets and change the name to Bart Simpson. Okay, now let's go to the formula responses table, refresh the page, and here we go! The name is now changed on the form's data as well. You can also change the look of your form here in the design tab. Here we can set the logic of our form. There's a diagram illustrating the order of your fields showing on your form. So let's open the advanced logic tab. In the advanced logic, you can create your logical conditions and calculations for each field to customize your logic to your needs. For example, if your question is 4 and the answer to another question is number 3, then jump to a specific field that shows your personality type. You can set multiple conditional statements on each question. This way, your form shows the next questions based on the user's responses. On multi-step forms, each question is shown on a different page. On the single-step form, all questions are shown on a single page. For example, on a single-step form, you can set your logic to show or hide depending on each answered question. Now let's head over to the Notifications tab. Here you can enable this option to get a notification every time someone submits your form and here you can add another email for your team to forward the same notification to. You can sign up at Formula for free and start empowering your business to grow even faster. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share with your friends. Happy formulaing!